It's the WTTS Background Check with Matt Pelser. Yesterday was the birthday of Dan Auerbach of the Black Keys. So this morning, let's look at the first single from the album that came after their breakthrough. El Camino was released just a year and a half after the Brothers record that put him on the map. First, let's talk about the album. El Camino. Yeah, that's a car. But it also means the road, which is why it's not a Chevy El Camino on the cover, but rather a Plymouth Voyager, the same white Plymouth Voyager minivan with wood paneling that they rode around in from gig to gig in the early days of their career. The album has a raw, gritty production style, guitar and drums recorded in the same room live. The guitar sound bleeds over into the drums. The drum bleeds into the mic on the guitar amp. That's exactly how they wanted it. When it comes to the song Lonely Boy, just three chords in this song, but that's all you need, right? And a legendary music video doesn't hurt, does it? The original plan for the video was much more complicated, much more like a regular music video. Lots of shots, a big cast, but the guys didn't like how it turned out. They sent back two edits before they asked, what about that dancing guy? Derek Tuggle was a part-time security guard who was on set when the director caught him dancing and asked if he'd be in the video. He agreed. They gave him an hour to learn the song, and he knocked it out in one glorious take. That's the video. Happy belated birthday to Dan Auerbach, who turned 44 yesterday. It's Lonely Boy. This morning's WTTS background check.